The city of Marlowe was abuzz with the news of renowned artist Julian Morrow's sudden disappearance. Known for his vibrant paintings that captured the essence of life, Julian had vanished without a trace just days before his grand exhibition. Julian's studio, a loft perched above the bustling streets of the old town, was a kaleidoscope of colors and canvases. Here, amidst the clutter of brushes and paint tubes, lay his final masterpiece, intriguingly unfinished. This last work was unlike any Julian had done before. The canvas was a whirl of dark hues, swirling around a figure that seemed almost lifelike, its features blurred as if caught in motion. It was as if Julian had poured his soul into this painting. Scattered around the studio were notes and sketches, hinting at Julian's state of mind in his final days. Among these was a cryptic message. In the art, truth hides where the brush never reached. As word of Julian's disappearance spread, so did rumors and theories. Some spoke of a secret lover, others of a hidden rivalry. But for young art detective Eliza Ford, this was the beginning of a captivating journey. Eliza's investigation led her to Julian's closest confidence, who painted a picture of an artist at the peak of his career, yet troubled by something unseen. They spoke of his recent, uncharacteristic seclusion and frantic late-night work sessions. At a local cafe often frequented by Julian, a barista recalled an unusual encounter. Julian had left behind a sketch on a napkin, a peculiar symbol interwoven with abstract shapes, unlike his usual style. Eliza's next stop was the gallery where Julian's exhibition was to be held. The curator, a longtime friend of Julian, reluctantly revealed a private collection of Julian's early works, each reflecting a darker, more enigmatic style. Among these early works, Eliza noticed a recurring theme, the same symbol from the cafe napkin, subtly incorporated in each painting. It was as if Julian had been leaving clues throughout his career, leading to this final, unfinished piece. That night, Eliza pored over Julian's sketches and notes, piecing together fragments of a larger puzzle. She realized that each painting, each symbol, was part of a narrative Julian was desperate to tell, a story hidden within layers of paint. Delving deeper into Julian's past, Eliza uncovered a series of correspondences with a reclusive artist known only as R. These letters hinted at a collaborative project shrouded in secrecy, one that seemed to consume both artists. In one of the letters, Julian wrote about a grand revelation through art, something that would change the way the world perceives reality. The tone of the letters grew increasingly fervent and cryptic over time. Eliza's breakthrough came when she found an old photograph in Julian's attic. It showed Julian and R in front of a mural, the very same symbol prominently displayed. The location of the mural, however, remained a mystery. Researching R led Eliza to an abandoned art commune on the outskirts of the city. Here, amidst the decay and forgotten art, she found the remnants of the mural depicted in the photograph, now faded and peeling. The mural, even in its eroded state, was mesmerizing. It depicted a surreal landscape, where reality and fantasy blurred. In the center, the familiar symbol glowed ominously, as if beckoning Eliza to uncover its meaning. The mural held clues to a location, a place Julian described in his letters as, where the earth meets the sky. Eliza's research led her to a secluded cliffside overlooking the sea, known for its breathtaking sunsets. At the cliff, Eliza discovered an abandoned studio, half hidden among the rocks. Inside, the walls were covered with sketches and paintings, a visual diary of Julian and R's artistic journey together. Among the artworks, Eliza found a painting that mirrored Julian's unfinished masterpiece, but this one was complete. It depicted a figure stepping out of the canvas into reality the symbol glowing brightly in the background. Eliza realized that Julian's and R's work transcended mere art. They had tapped into something deeper, a visual language that could alter perception. Julian's disappearance now seemed less like a mystery and more like a transcendence. As the sun set, the studio was bathed in golden light. Eliza stood amidst the artworks, feeling as if she were standing at the threshold of a new reality one that Julian had seen and perhaps crossed into. As night fell, Eliza sat in the cliffside studio, surrounded by the legacy of two artists who had dared to dream beyond the canvas. She understood now that Julian's disappearance was not an end, but a beginning. Piecing together the narrative from Julian's and R's artworks, Eliza realized they had discovered a visual technique to manipulate perception, an artistic breakthrough that transcended traditional boundaries. 
In Julian's final letter to R, found tucked behind the completed painting, he wrote of a final performance, a step into the world they had created. It was clear that Julian had chosen to immerse himself completely in their artistic vision. Eliza left the studio as dawn broke, the first light of the morning illuminating the path back. She carried with her not just the story of Julian's life and work, but the realization of the transformative power of art. The unfinished symphony of paint was never completed on canvas, but its story echoed in the hearts of those who encountered it. Eliza, forever changed, became its guardian, ensuring that the legacy of Julian and R continued to inspire.